You say Po Patty State Park. Po Patty State Park. <laughs> Poe Valley, Poe Mountain, and Patty Mountain are located across Penn and Haynes Townships, Center County. This region bordering Mifflin County between Milroy and Potter's Mills is sometimes referred to as Seven Mountains. Between 1933 and 1941, Poe Valley and Poe Patty State Parks were built by the young men of Company 1333, Poe Valley Camp S-63, and the Civilian Conservation Corps. They also constructed the dam that created Poe Lake, and with the help of the Works Progress Administration, the Spillway too. In the era of the Great Depression, the Civilian Conservation Corps was born out of necessity. This was a trying time for Americans. Center County lost one quarter of all of its businesses before the end of the Depression. During FDR's first 100 days in office, his New Deal put unemployed men ages 18 to 26 to work, restoring America's timbered ruins across the country. The CCC program filled two needs, helping unprecedented unemployment and rescuing America's natural resources, which suffered from unsustainable industrial practices, such as logging through the turn of the century. For example, between 1880 and 1890, the lumbering town of Poe Mills had a population of about 400, but it vanished as the forests were depleted. Like Poe Valley, there were over 75 CCC camps across Pennsylvania, each having companies of about 200 enrollees. The enrollees were only eligible to join the CCC if their family was listed in the county relief rolls. Regardless of any stigma, a six month hitch in the CCC provided three square meals a day. They were also paid a dollar a day, $5 a month of which they got to keep, and $25 was allocated to send back to their families. When the going got tough, especially to their families back home, these young men were heroes. Poe Valley and other CCC camps were overseen by the U.S. Army, forestry superintendents and local skilled foremen. While Roosevelt's Tree Army was mobilized and overseen by the U.S. Army officers and policies, this was not the military. It was a labor force, and instead of packing a rifle, the enrollees packed a shovel. They built and lived in Army-style barracks, wore World War I surplus uniforms and mess halls, but they were civilians indeed. The enrollees were also given educational and on-the-job training skills. Upon successful completion of their adventure with the CCC, they'd receive a certificate of discharge representing these new skills and experience, and hopefully landing them a new job and lease on life. In this emergency conservation work across the nation, CCC camps like Poe Valley collectively planted more than three billion trees established erosion and fire prevention programs, and labored in forestry conservation management and road building to provide access to the state and national parks we enjoy today. Penn's Creek. <laughs> <laughs>